of the car then we've got electric mirrors the uh, rear seats are in pretty good order the boot I've had to ad adapt a little um, bit of wire to open it up because uh, the um, central locking mechanism is gone so you've got to just um, either use the wire or I've lubricated it so the key might work soon but uh, it's no great hardship you just prep pull the, the lever and uh, it opens the boot I'll show you so a little bit of wire like so pull it and that opens your boot so of course the car's locked and then you can open the boot and there's the CD changer there and there's a spare wheel and a 60-40 split folding rear seat there we go so locked I'll just start her up for you so 103,841 miles engine starts up perfectly all the glass is good we've got a sunroof as well tilt and slide sunroof which is quite nice to have slightly sporty seats the clutch is fine it's got a good biting point and it's a nice lively peppy engine electric windows driver's passenger side electric window driver side okay so uh, all the lights go out as they should just a shame the body's in just a little bit of uh, tatty condition but it's not too bad thanks for watching then we'll speak to you soon bye bye okay welcome to the history section then for this vw polo uh, well, there's loads of it. We've got all the owner's manuals there and a spare key, a service book which is stamped up, uh, main dealer history up to the first page 49k, VW main dealer garage uh, up to 61 where there's a cam belt done at 59, carrying on with CSB garages 70,000 in 2006, 76,000 in 2008, and the last stamp in the book here is at 84 in January 2010. Uh, to go with the car to back it all up then is a load of old MOT certificates, must be at least a good 12 there or so. Some service history from Golden Hill Garage, it's all stamped in the book there. Um, 144, 172, 190, 110, 108 and 144. So a fair few bills there from that Golden Hill Garage. Uh, in uh, 2002, there's an AA inspection report showing the car done I think it was about 30 odd thousand miles. Uh, do we have that mileage? Green, three door. No, that's not got, a, not got a mileage, but it was all okay then. Oh, yeah, 44,000 miles. So, uh, all okay then. I mean, that's going a long time back, mine, so uh, 10 years. Uh, uh, more recent bills then are from this garage, CSB garage. We've got one there at 76,000 miles at 145 quid, just a general service. Another one 145 pounds at 84k. At 80k, 480 that had a new throttle body uh, throttle body fitted. Uh, that was at 80,000. Uh, 65,000, that's 79 pounds spent on it. 70,000, had 314, that was a biggish service. Uh, 127, 83k. And 83k again, another 73. Um, yeah, there are just loads of bills and receipts. So um, yeah, I think we can safely say it's had a decent life with uh, plenty of money spent on it. Okay, back to the car. Hello and good afternoon. I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars, and today's car is the VW Polo. Little three door, uh, 1.4 16 valve with this one, uh, with a nice long MOT till well into next year. Uh, I think it's March time. Uh, alloys, power steering, driver's airbag, a uh, couple of keys, really good service history with it as well, which we'll come to a bit later on in the video. And uh, drives very well actually, the clutch is all good, the power steering, everything all works, electric windows, uh, radio cassette player with a 10 disc CD player in the boot as well. Uh, it's got some tax for the end of April, so £135 to tax this car for one year. Starts on the button and the alloys and everything are pretty good. This side's not too bad at all. Alas, the driver's side has got uh, some corrosion in the wing, which uh, has got some sharp edges, hence a bit of tape over there, um, just to uh, cover it up. And uh, this rear wheel arch is starting to go a bit as well, but uh, it's not that bad really. And uh, with a nice long MOT and splash attacks, it's uh, gonna be decent motoring for somebody, I should imagine, for a while yet. Just gonna need that continual bit of uh, mucking about to keep it going really you know rear wiper the washer works fine on that as well and I've done about 20 odd miles in it and the car doesn't overheat and it drives very well the engine performs nicely so um, let's go have a look at the history 